Here it is. Eight and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight and one. After a five-year hiatus, the legendary Copacabana is dancing back into the spotlight. Since 1941, New York's Copacabana has been one of the city's premier nightclubs, known as much for its famous faces as its dining and dancing. Since its original opening on 60th Street, the Copa has moved three times, first to 57th and later to 34th, where in 2007 it was forced to yet again move due to the seven-train subway extension, ultimately landing in Times Square at 47th and 8th. The Copa is now holding dance auditions for the latest generation of Copa girls. Choreographer and dance captain Melanie Torres is in charge of selecting the newest dancers. All right, let me see you, Barbie. So I'm not interested so much in the technical because I think that technique is something that can be taught, but feeling like actually having that passion inside when you dance and, and, and being able to interpret a song and not kind of be mechanical about it. Uh, well, I've been dancing all my life and one of my dreams is to be a salsa dancer at Copa and I think if, you know, if I was one, it would be my dream come true and uh, I wouldn't really have to go looking for anything else because this is what I would like to do. But it's not enough just to want the job. According to anyone familiar with the Copacabana, there's a legacy to uphold. Did you know that Raquel Welch and Joan Collins were original Copa girls? So to be part of that legacy is amazing. I remember talking to Desi Arnaz, and he said, the Copa always had the most beautiful girls in the world. From Midtown Manhattan, for the New York Post, Kenson Noel.